Alrighty, this is it. Final episode of Mega Man X6. You better believe I'm going to beat it this time. There's no way that we're going to have another episode after this. This is it. The game is getting finished tonight. So I've got the ultimate buster equipped now. Look at that. Just nothing but charge shots. Which is what that is. Because for the first time, I actually have room for the ultimate buster without having to have any any weird abilities equipped that I don't want just to get through a level that I should be able to just get through regardless of what I have equipped. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Also, look at how creepy these statues have gotten. Look at this. Like, what the hell? What is this imagery? This is like some Illuminati kind of weird shit going on in these, these backgrounds here. This is like some, some horns of Baphomet, like Turkish wolf type stuff here. Ancient Sumerian death gods. Like seriously, what are we looking at? And and what was what was over to the left there? Because there was something over to the left there. Damn it. I want to go back up there and see what was over there. But it looks like I can't. Yep, looks like I can't. Oh well. Actually I can. No, I can't, because if I if I exit to the title screen, I'll lose all my sub-tank energy. And I am not doing that again, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's with all the creepy imagery. You have all these blocks in the background that haven't finished forming yet. That's kind of weird, too. Alright, you ready? We're going to see how the shadow armor does against all of the eight bosses. This should be pretty interesting, actually. If I can even get a hit on it. Oh wow, this this does a really good job clearing out the bubbles though. Like that. This fight really does get kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? Look at this. Look how ridiculous this, this this. There's like not even any room left on the screen at this point. You know? It's just like... This fight absolutely discourages any kind of strategy. And it's just like, just slash your way through everything as quick as you can. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to have this wrapped up in about 20 minutes. I have to go feed my cats. That time of the morning. All right. Who's behind door number two? I have no idea. I don't even remember the names of the eight bosses at this point. Like I've already forgotten half of them. Oh, it's uh, Blast Hornet. All right, Blast Hornet. Good to see uh, Blast Hornet again. What's he weak to? I don't know. I don't have any weapons. See? No weapons. I'm just gonna use the sword, like so. And a couple giga attacks for good measure there. Yeah, the shadow armor giga attack is pretty amazing, actually. I'd say it's hands down the best giga attack of any of the normal armors. Well, that fight was a little easier. Who's next, as uh, Goldberg would say? Behind door number three is uh, Blizzard Buffalo. Blizzard Buffalo, very, uh, very tough opponent. Watch out for his blizzard attack. 
I don't. Oh, this guy. Yeah. I seriously, I seriously did not remember who, who the boss was, the ice boss for this game. I'm trying to use my Giga attack, but it's not full yet, so... I think I'm just kind of lagging the boss out here. Wow, that is a strong Giga attack. Good god. Alright, can we skip the explosion animations and just kind of... Kind of skip, skip that part. So we get to the next fight here. I feel like I started with the hardest fight. You know, I accidentally led with the the most difficult boss. Actually, this guy might be a little bit tough because he's got that lava. Yeah, this is Flame Stag, really a uh, particularly difficult robot master. He first appeared in Mega Man 4 on NES. Oh, gotta watch out for that, that attack. That's the Psycho Crusher. It's uh, his, his deadliest attack. I could use the uh, Giga attack right now, but I'm just not going to. I'm gonna save it for the next fight. Psycho Crusher time. Psycho Crusher. Psycho Crusher. This game is pretty exhausting, I have to say, but at least the final stage is like a pretty normal final stage. I mean, you got your, your boss portals, you know, nice, nice normal final stage here. So this guy is kind of giga attack impervious as you can see. That, that was a bit of a waste. Now this guy's a, a preview of all the Mega Man X7 bosses, because they all talk way too much. Like, they just make all kinds of noises, and they, they sound absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, this guy, he's just a preview. A preview of all the bosses in X7. My god, what is this? Wow, you you can't actually climb these walls. That's odd. Think of how much more menacing this final stage would be if Isaac hadn't just died for no reason. If Isaac was like lurking in this stage, and if he was Dr. Wily, it would just be like, you know, it would be a super creepy stage. Because Dr. Wily is basically like undead at this point. You know, he's like this undead robot. So yeah, think of how creepy that would be if he, would, if he was the boss of this stage. Oh, that was a waste. The Giga attack is devastating, but you have to use it at the right time. Like right here would be a good time. Oh well. Wow. 
or right here. This would also be a good, very good time for it. Metal Shark player. Man, this is gonna be a very short fight. Wait a minute, is that Magna Centipede up there? It is Magna Centipede. What the hell? I'm, I'm not even joking, that was actually Magna Centipede from Mega Man X2 that he just summoned to attack me. That is. That is weird. Weirdly random. Alright, next. I think this is the last one. Wow. That boss rush really flew by. Here's the guy whose front you never see. He's just like, look at my butt. Man, it's too bad I'm not recording myself right now, like, video-wise. Because I'm playing in the dark, and the entire room is just, like, flashing uncontrollably. It'd be a pretty cool visual if I was recording. Oh well. I would do that if it would, like, work correctly, but I can't rely on it to do that. Please stop doing that. Good day, sir. So that should do it. So, final battle time. F final battle. Please. So I can be done with this game. Yep, there it is. Final battle. I've got three energy tanks, basically, ready. ready to go. Yep. And uh, I don't recall the final boss of this game being hard at all compared to the other three fortress bosses. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Gate is basically the real final boss of this game. That was an odd little section of level just now. I don't know what the point was. Might as well have just sent me straight to the boss. You know? Unless it was like an opportunity to fill my energy tanks or something. So here's one of the creepier Sigmas in the whole series. He's basically like zombie Sigma. So I, I guess his latest body uh, was not complete yet. Yeah. I mean, the body he had in X5 was like his most complete body since X1, I feel like. But after X5, he's just like a husk of his former self. Alright, giga attack time. You have to understand I'm on a tight schedule here, buddy. Wow. Seriously? Seriously? That was the... S what? After everything I've gone through in this game, 
that was Sigma. It was like a 10 second fight. I mean, obviously there's more to it. All right, one more fight. I still have all three energy tanks though, so. I mean, did I even take a hit on that, that last fight? Oh wow, it's a giant Terminator Sigma. Ooh, we got some, some good music for this fight. Oh wow, it's like a remix of the Mega Man X1 uh, Sigma fight theme. What? Look at his HP! What the blue hell? Seriously? Like, I could finish him off at any time with the Giga Attack. I'm just gonna play jump rope with this guy for a minute. This is really good music. I would like to enjoy this music for a minute without the fight just instantly ending. I, I cannot believe. Yeah, this is a remix of his theme in X2, actually, I think. But I cannot believe that the final battles of this game are this easy. This is like obscene. Considering how hard the fortress was, like, this is absolutely obscene. Alright, time to end it. Bye bye. Wow. Seriously. Are you, are you serious right now? Trophy. There we go. I should actually get two trophies. <laughs> because I beat the game on, uh, what was it? I beat the game normally, like, without using Rookie Hunter, so I should get two trophies. So, uh, they're gonna help Gate get back to normal. Oh no, they're not. He's dead. Okay, so they're gonna bury him. Well, that's nice of them. Well, Gate was also like a great guy before everyone decided he was evil. Oh, jeez. So is, is Gate gonna like suddenly come back to life at the end? Like Disney's Doug? Yay, he's alive! Yay! For no reason, yay! And then we'll never see him again, so it doesn't matter anyway. They can't just let us have a moment of like any kind of emotion without Disney's Dugging it at the end. No. no. I think I think Gate really is gone. Okay. So we can we can take a moment to, to remember Gate here. Kind of a cool character. Terrible fight though. He's like a, a scientist that that spent his time helping Reploids and then uh, got corrupted. You know. So now X is gonna build a Utopia. And if you've played the Mega Man Zero series, you know how that turned out. X basically became like this dictator. But then of course they they backpedaled on that and they they made it uh, copy X, like this clone of X that was actually the dictator. So it wasn't really X, like who knows what happened to him. Like what? Originally it was supposed to be X that was the dictator, but uh, Capcom balked because Disney's Doug wasn't really X, it was a clone. <sighs> That's it for Mega Man X6. Thank you for joining me. This was not a fun experience. Um, first, uh, first seven stages though really weren't weren't terrible. I mean, I did I did enjoy myself for a while, and I, I thought we were heading towards a. I don't know. I thought we were heading towards me maybe changing my mind about this game and saying, you know, this game isn't actually that bad. But it it completely tanked as it went on. And uh, we'll see if X7 is as bad as this game, because I'm going to be starting it uh, very shortly. Maybe not right this minute, but uh, pretty soon. And we'll see how that goes. So yeah. That's about it. So I'll just let this cool credits music play. And I'm going to go feed the cats.
and I'll see you on the next episode, which will be X7, so tune in for that.